vinyl record sales beat out the CD in 2022. This came from a study that was recently done and people are completely losing their minds. <laughs> In this video, I will explain everything and what needs to happen to tip the scales once again. If this is your first time here and you're new to the channel, slap that like button, subscribe because it does help me grow. Let's do this. First and foremost, I want to celebrate the simple fact that people are buying physical formats again. I think that's the real conversation here. I don't care if it's CDs, records, or cassettes, as long as they are being bought and sold. These are exciting times we're living in. We are seeing some growth over the last few years of our favorite physical formats. However, I am the self-proclaimed ambassador of CDs for this community, and I feel it my duty to share some thoughts on why vinyl sold a bit more than CDs last year. I'm not sure if this is like the Mandela effect, but I could have sworn I heard this same claim before, but for argument's sake, let's just say yes. This is the first year vinyl has overtaken the CD. One question I have for the RIAA, the organization that does all the math for these yearly tallies, is whether you are counting the used market as well. Because those numbers may actually surprise the music community since a used CD is around two to six dollars and used vinyl remains much more expensive. I'm willing to bet by counting the used sales of CDs, we would see a different outcome, but I understand it's impossible to keep track of those metrics since many are sold out of charity shops and private collections online and in person. Let's get down to brass tacks here though. The disparities between vinyl and CDs are huge. Marketing alone has failed the CD. Visit any big box store, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, well Best Buy doesn't even carry CDs anymore. You will see just an obscene selection of vinyl and this tiny little section of CDs where you can find Taylor Swift, BTS, and a few other regrettably forgettable titles. On the other hand, the vinyl section has special edition records, custom colors and designs, and limited quantities. Not to mention the variety goes far beyond the current releases. That alone is enough to surpass the CD in numbers. I am astonished that vinyl didn't slaughter the CD by way more than the paltry 8 million it did. Now 41 million vinyl records and 33 million CDs are nothing, nothing compared to what vinyl did in the late 70s and cassettes did in the early 80s. The CD was well beyond that until streaming became more popular and evolved as a standard for music consumption now. In 2023, streaming drives 84% of recorded music revenue. So what are we really fighting over here, guys? scraps on the floor in comparison to what our favorite formats once were. Another advantage that vinyl possesses over the CD is that many recording artists and record companies opt to only release certain titles on vinyl as a limited run because of the price it costs to launch a major album on physical media. So of course, if you're looking for a specific album, vinyl, streaming, or digital download may be your only choice. The CD loses again. The vinyl record has, in my view, a bit of an unfair advantage over the CD, plain and simple. Now, financially, the cost of pressing an album and the amount of limited pressing plants does limit vinyl to those who really want it, which is where the CD does have the upper hand since it's cheaper and easier to produce compact discs at a larger scale. But because vinyl is the trend right now, labels and retailers focus on producing, marketing, and stocking it while they treat the CD as this afterthought. There was a study featured on Billboard.com that 3,992 respondents participated in and 50% admitted to buying vinyl without actually owning a turntable, basically just for the collectability factor. This is something I have harped on for a while in previous videos. CDs need a collectability factor of some kind to attract people to the format once more if CDs want to make a massive comeback. The allure of collecting something rare, unique, and special lies in the joy of possessing a tangible piece of history, beauty, or rarity that connects us to the past or present, evoking emotion and satisfying our desire for exclusivity and accomplishment. Once the industry embraces that ideal for the compact disc, I promise it will be an overnight sensation. Will the CD ever return to the billion in sales it once was? Absolutely not. But can it do much better? Yes, both formats can. The real story here is that physical media is all but dead, and millions of music fans are willing to pony up and support their favorite artists. One statistic that has me a bit disappointed is that despite the big numbers both formats put up in 2022, 
physical sales are actually down 3.8% from 2021. It's my belief that this can be attributed to the pandemic. In 2021, people had free money and free time, so I am not surprised that in 2022, when everyone had to go back to work and the economy is shit, sales took a bit of a dip. What does make me a bit uneasy is something that the CEO of the Entertainment Retailers Association said in an interview with Music Week. She said, revenue is certainly up, but the challenge in 2022 was more about profitability after years when securing top line growth was the challenge. With soaring energy costs and inflationary pressure on wages, the issue now for retailers is turning revenue into profits. We often never think about it that way when we see big numbers, especially since indie record shops contributed to a massive chunk of 2022's numbers. Sure, many units were sold and revenue was made, but how much was actual profit? And was that profit sustainable enough to continue staying in business? While mega corporations like Walmart and Amazon dominate much of the retail landscape, many music lovers still treasure the unique experience mom and pop record shops offer. These small businesses often specialize in hard to find albums and rare releases, and they provide a personal touch that is hard to come by in larger chain stores. Seeing these smaller shops struggle in the face of competition from larger retailers is tragic. However, the resurgence of vinyl and the small increase in CD sales have provided a glimmer of hope for these small businesses. Vinyl records are priced higher than CDs, which might offer retailers a bit better profit margin. For mom and pop record shops, this can be a lifeline that helps them stay afloat in an increasingly competitive market. As music fans, we could do our part to support these small businesses by choosing to purchase albums from local record shops rather than from the large chain retailers. By doing this, we help keep these businesses alive and contribute to the music community these shops help foster. Ultimately, the success of these small record shops is a testament to the enduring appeal of physical media. Despite the convenience of digital downloads and streaming services, there is still something special about owning a physical copy of your favorite album and supporting local record shops is a great way to ensure that this tradition continues for generations to come. At the heart of the music industry lies the pursuit of profits. Nothing new there. Without financial gain, there would be little incentive to continue producing physical media, regardless of the level of demand that exists out there. This reality can be disheartening for music lovers who may fear that the industry's focus on profits could lead to a decline in the availability of physical media. If the number of units sold continues in a bullish trend, physical media won't go anywhere. I still think the CD needs to be given the same opportunities as the vinyl record, because with shit marketing, limited availability, and no special editions, etc., etc., the CD is still keeping up. That gives me hope that there is still an interest and that it can someday come back on a more mainstream level. Once both formats can hit that 100 million mark, we will start seeing a paradigm shift. However, I do think the vinyl record might crater once again as it did in the past because it's unfortunately a dated technology that will remain a staple for dedicated collectors, but for the everyday music listener, it's just not practical. And that's the window of opportunity the CD has to capitalize on to once again reign triumphant. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the subject. I feel this can make for a pretty fun conversation. I also have a Discord where we can chat about it as well. Links in the description. I know I covered quite a bit here, but it's a subject I'm very passionate about. If you enjoyed the video and got something from it, please provide the like button with a Mike Tyson level uppercut. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever new content emerges. With all that said and done, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.